Uh, you know, I was, uh, I was nine when the ABA folded, so I didn't really, <laughs> I'm still too young for, to follow the ABA, yeah. You can't tell you stories about being a big Spurs fan. And oh yeah, we got all those stories ad nauseum. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but yeah, and, and growing up out in, in California, there weren't, it was really obviously all about the Lakers, so I was like a big Laker fan, but, so I did, I did most of my, uh, kind of got most of my knowledge later on from reading uh, this book, Loose Balls, which is about chronicles. That's the real title. Uh, it's a great book. It's, it chronicles every year of the ABA, and the stories in it are even stranger than what we have in the movie. It's, it's just, it was such a crazy league with these characters, and, you know, it's just like, uh, they, they really did wrestle a bear in at an Indiana Pacers game, you know, a guy, <laughs> like when I trade a, a washing machine for Maddox, <laughs> like one guy actually wanted a refrigerator as part of his deal, but the team said, we can't give you a new one, we'll give you a used one. He was like, okay, I'll take it. And uh, <laughs> it was just the weirdest, the most comedic kind of sports thing ever. Uh, you know, I this was something, uh, Scott Armstrong wrote the script. Yeah, I've known him since old school. He wrote old school and... Starsky and Hutch and did some work on Elf and he had always told me I'm one day I'm gonna write a 70s basketball comedy and and I said oh please like I don't even have to read it just <laughs> I just I just to so want to do a basketball movie so you know the only bad thing for me is that it it was ready right as we we're shooting Blades of Glory and, okay. and so now you know I'm getting the sports comedy question over and over again yeah. but I'm not I'm not obsessed with it. You know, I'm not obsessed with sports movies, but they're fun to do, but I'm not going to do them from now on type of thing. Yeah. Okay.